Do you have calf pain or Achilles tendonitis? Well, watch me in real time. Treat my friend Val. So here I am assessing her subtalar joint and her calf and her mobility. She had trigger points all throughout her gastroc on her soleus. So I am looking for a very specific trigger point that kind of reproduces her symptoms. And you can see I found it because she's kicking. And I'm usually reassuring people that you're going to make it. It's going to be okay. Telling my friend she's got this. Notice the little toes wiggling. Dry needling with the calves does not feel very nice. So I apply a little pressure afterwards. I'm telling her the education of like the gastroc and how it tapers down into the Achilles, how it inserts into the calcaneus. And with her, I notice the way she walks, she moves. You know, she is just really set up for this Achilles tendonitis. So unfortunately, I have to dry needle her a few more times because she was just riddled with trigger points and it was bothering her so badly to the point she was limping. limping. And um, yep, there is another spot. Here we go. Actually, sometimes palpating the trigger point before you even stick the needle in hurts about just as much as the, the actual dry needling where you feel a twitch and that hyper irritable muscle just goes crazy. So now I am done with the dry needling and I am doing some gentle, gentle soft tissue and kind of just following the lines nice and easy because I just put needles on her. So you know this is good. The gloves are off. No more dry needling. And we're just going between the two bellies of the gastroc and she doesn't love that either. Um, so clearly there are fascial restrictions. Now this person is my friend. I see her kicking, but we are really getting down into the nitty gritty. So there's just one spot in her gastroc that is not going away. We're going to cup that. We're going to just put that cup on that trigger point. Even though I dry needled it, we're going to just get some extra blood flow there. So just some nice loving strokes. And then I'm going to go down and feel her plantar fascia. And it is awful. Awful. Um, we're going to do some gua sha straight scraping next. We're going to kind of go on that medial side. Also note the foot of my friend. I am smiling because you know what? I did not anticipate that feeling so yuck yuck to her, but it sure did. But you know what? We are helping that fascia get in a proper line. We're getting lymph moving. You know, when there are pathological tissues that are in pain and chronic, we have to get that lymphatics moving. Uh, nice loving strokes. Cup's going to come off. Once again, long strokes going between the bellies of the gastroc. Her foot seems calm, but yet look at that kick. Back to the gua sha tool, back to scraping. She's kicking, she's kicking. So now I'm gonna do some contract relax. We're gonna have her kind of push into my hands. We're gonna see when she contracts, if I can get that to relax a little bit, do a nice little stretch, a little nerve glide action. I'm explaining to her, you know what? I think your mechanics have, just, have really been leading up to this. I know that it came on so suddenly for you, but when I put her in subtalar neutral, you know, she has a bit of a, a toe out inherently with her bony structure. So now I'm getting into the septum and I'm really kind of just lovingly giving that tissue time to creep and to have change. And I am putting my thumbs in and just separating not as bad as some of the other things I've done, but highly effective, especially if you have calf pain or shin splints. That's it. No more. All done.